Yo, welcome back to the channel. We're currently at 6,742, top 4k. And let's jump into our first game. My goal for this video is to get to 6,800. That's the goal. Hopefully, I can get it. Found the game against this guy, VX. So, I don't have hogs, so. Ice Spirit should be fine. Uh, okay, night here, my graveyard. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Okay, I'm just gonna fireball that. This should be a good fireball. Oh, okay, so he predicted it. So I was trying to fireball it. Um, I was trying to fireball the electricity to, so you can push it towards closer to my musket here. So my musket here would be able to get a hit before the electrics is getting a hit on my musket here and that was really nice king tower activation uh that one bat are you serious what that one bat got like got like 500 damage okay i'm just gonna musketeer like this it will kill the knight and then it will kill the um princess come on no it died ah uh, that princess did so much damage i should have just logged it i should have just logged it i should have just logged it what is his deck? Mega Knight, Princess. Pets. Skeleton Army Knight. Arrows. Okay. Oh, are you serious? At least this fireball should be fine. Okay, perfect fireball. Please one hit. No. I think he's back to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's 100% back to his Princess because he played Arrows and... Like was bad skeleton me 100 is back to us so I'm not gonna let him nice so predictable this musketeer is good because he kills the princess and counter push so it's good for now i'm gonna go hog immediately because i don't think you will have enough for um mega knight oh infinite tower okay okay so what is wind condition Just kite that and then. Okay, I'm much far by like Jim's it, honestly. I don't know, I don't want, I don't know what his wind condition is, so. Okay, I'm gonna go hog and then. I don't think he will skeleton on me because it'll be so predictable. Oh, of course he does. I was gonna say, I thought it'd be so predictable me going prediction lock because he just uses Mega Knight, but. Oh man, I don't know why he went for a skeleton on me. Okay. So I think this is I think this is his full deck. I think he's already shown his eight cards. If this is his, if this so far this is looking um pretty easy matchup. I mean, yes he has yes like he has Inferno Tower and Mega Knight, but this should be yeah. This is a really 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 easy like I hard counter literally I hard counter. There's literally like he shouldn't he shouldn't be able to get I don't know how we got that much damage in my tower. But um Yeah he shouldn't this guy like shouldn't be able to get like damage in your tower. Like I know he got a lot of damage by my tower, but still like it's fine because I'm I know I'm gonna win this. I mean Yeah, I literally a hard counter this guy, like one hundred and over him. Okay, prediction log is yeah, perfect. Cause I knew he wouldn't have enough for Inferno Tower. And Okay, I need a fireball. Come on. And yeah, GG's. Pretty easy game. Pretty easy matchup. I don't know what that deck was. Oh, yeah, by the way, if, if you, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I actually made a new clan. Ooh, gems. Not bad, not bad. Now I can do um, more GCs. Um, oh, yeah, I actually, I actually made a new clan. It used to be, it used to be called Wybin, but I made a new clan. It's called YouTube now because I feel like... I feel like it will be, like, good, like, you know promotion and stuff I feel like promote my my youtube my youtube channel and all that stuff okay perfect let's go pick a bridge spam you love to see it so i'm gonna go hog here i'm not gonna get for skeletons because if you guys for a pick my hog i still should be able to get two hits now Okay, that's fine. 
So I was going, I don't want the electricity to get in here, my musketeer, because yeah, I knew who tried a fireball, so now he has to get for like a zap or something. Okay, I'm gonna have skeletons in front of this. If he zaps out, I'm gonna go Ice Spirit Hog immediately. Yep, I'm gonna go Ice Spirit Hog immediately. There's no way in hell he has enough for Pekka. Yeah, perfect. I knew he wouldn't have enough for Pekka. So this was a really nice, um, really nice hog. It's annoying that I have to get for a lock and then Ice Golem. If I just had the Ice Golem, I would have saved to Alexa, but yeah, it's fine. I don't think he's up that much anyway. I'm actually, I actually realized I haven't first pick a bridge spam in ages. Like, I swear, I can't remember the last time I first pick a bridge spam. I literally can't. So, I'm gonna can apply like this because you know it doesn't really matter where I place it. And I want him to like fireball my can and stuff, you know. So, I'm gonna go musketeer and I want to go hog right lane once he's fireball. Okay, perfect, perfect hog rider. Now he doesn't have enough for. Now he doesn't have enough for pick. You see how I was like waiting? I was like trying to predict when he was going to go for his big spell so when i go for a fireball he won't have enough for a pekka and that bandit has got some yeah, that bandit got some damage but we still up by a lot so i think well i'm not think but i know okay i'm gonna hog it and just lock to push the pekka back so my hog rider can probably get two hits maybe nice 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 all i have to do now is just defend Okay, uh, okay, I'll just ice go and then. Luckily, I didn't get for a cannon up high. Luckily, I waited like a couple seconds because the Dark Prince would have killed it. He just wasted it as up, so. And he missed my musketeer, so yeah, this is GG's. Um, yeah, Pega Bridge is a good matchup for, for 2.6. But yeah, GG's. All right, so I think we are 6,800 now. Yeah, we are nice. Top 3K, let's keep going. Um, Hopefully, maybe I can get more than 6,800, you know? Hopefully, if I don't, hopefully I don't lose any more games, or hopefully I don't lose any games. Okay, Ice Spirit should be fine. Um, So a lot of people ask me what's, what's the best spirit. I think in... I don't think Ice Spirit is the best spirit. I think, you know, Fire Spirit is better. Or even if you want to reset, I think Electric Spirit is even better. But I like to use Ice Spirit. I don't know. I just, I just prefer Ice Spirit more. Because, you know, I, just, I want to be a true 2.6 one trick. Like, I want to use that 2.6, the real 2.6 deck. No, like, I don't want to switch any cards. I don't want to even switch the spirits and all that stuff. Like, I'm always going to just be using 2.6. I'm not even gonna switch any cards, literally. And I prefer Ice Spirit, I don't know, just uh, the more uh, freeze duration, I think it's really important. I'm gonna go to Ice Golem Hogia. Oh. Um, come on, log, please, 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 log, 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 log. No, this. Is that my tower? Yes, that's on, that's on my tower, isn't it? No. Yeah, GG's. GG's. I mean, he doesn't have a big spell. Maybe I can try to defend my tower. Nah, he has freeze. I can't defend graveyard freeze. He will always get guaranteed damage. Always. I want him to go. I want. I wanted him to go tombstone so I can fireball and just go ice cream hog. Nah, GG's. Ah. Uh. I don't know what to do right now. I just gonna. Oh, at least I have logs. So I can just. Okay, I can log that. If I just take his tower out, I think I should be. Nice one hit. Nice, 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 nice. Um. You might go in. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go Ice Golem Hog. He doesn't have Tombstone in hand. Um, okay, he. He doesn't have Tombstone. Oh, he does. Okay, nice, 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 nice. If I can get this to a two, two tower game, maybe I can make a comeback, but if he goes tombstone, I'm gonna 
Uh, should I def Should I def Maybe I can def No, he went freeze, he went freeze no, no. If he didn't get for freeze, I would have tried to defend it But because he went for freeze, I, th I don't think I was able to defend it So no point Okay So what my game plan right now is um, yeah, First of all, I need to get some damage in Second of all, to defend uh, his pushes, I need to try to... I need to always have my Ice Golem in hand so I can pull the... Um, like, he's probably going to go a Grave Rat and something in the pocket. I need to go Ice Golem to... No, not even one hit. So this is the best cannon placement because he can't freeze. He can't... Okay, perfect. I knew it. So guys, that's, that's what you want to do. You want to get cannon like that because cannon like that, he can't freeze. He can only freeze your towers. Like he can't freeze everything. If you place it in the middle, like that, um, he'll he will be able to freeze all three. So that'd be, that's pretty bad. So place it further away from your king tower and ice golem like that to pull the, to pull like whatever he plays in the middle away. Okay, now should be perfect, perfect, perfect. Log, you see, and you see how I'm going Hogwarts at the same time as him, him going all in. So he won't have like. He won't have, like, have enough, like, he won't have, like, enough flexor to defend. I mean, he has cheap cards to defend, like, they're pretty much three legs, so I think, I feel like he will always have enough, but... Don't get hit, my musketeer! No, he's gonna die to the bomb now. Uh, if it didn't, if it didn't die, it would be insane. Um, okay, log. Perfect look that he can't freeze my cannon so my cannon is getting good damage uh fin pretty much finishing off the oh no Okay cannon just in just in case if you want something in the pocket Log, five ball, GG's, easy, easy, really good game. So yeah, for so like the one thing I want to take away from that match is how I defended, like where I placed my cannons in the bottom left corner, so you can't freeze all my my towers and my cannon, and um how, how I was going with ice golems to pull whatever he placed in the pocket away, and also how I was going hog at the same time as he goes um. And for his push, so like he was gonna like he wouldn't be able to, you know, defend the Hulk and all that stuff. So that was a really, really good game. Like I'm really happy with that, especially we got the got we got that really bad start. But yeah, GG's. Okay, ooh, nice log, nice log. I I'll be honest, I got lucky with the log. I wasn't predicting his heal spirit. Ah, that's annoying. Mm, that's so annoying. If I just waited once again, I could have went Ice Cream Hog left lane. Uh, this might be that Sparky, the giant Sparky with NATO. Uh, I'm gonna maybe bait how is Sparky with this Ice Spirit and go Hog left lane. No, okay, I'm just gonna go Hog Skeletons then. I leap up. Oh, oh, this is probably Bridge Spam. Yeah, it's Bridge Spam. So, Bridge Spam is. I'll just Fireball that instead of logging. I think Fireballing. Is better. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah, yeah. Because if I log, I would have had to also go for like an ice golem and then, you know, probably also an ice spirit and skeletons and all that. I would have had to spend more elixir probably. Okay, but yeah, this is a good matchup for me. So I'll just get Musketeer in the back for this. Okay. It's nice, good musketeer value, kills the cannon cut and it's gonna help take out the uh, golden knight. Okay, so he has okay. Um just ice spirit and then skull um okay, log and just fable that nice 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 pretty nice defense. Okay, so Maybe I should have went for maybe I actually maybe I should have probably went with the hog. I don't think he would have had enough for Lee Bobs. 
Yeah, I should have went for hooks when I had enough elixir. No, it's fine, it's fine. My hooker will be good at one hit, so pretty good. So I'll just skeletons and log. If you go something in front of that cannon, okay, it's viable. Okay, I'll just kite that. Okay, ice spirit like this, hopefully he heals nothing. Nice, really nice ice spirit. Cannon. I'm gonna try to protect my musketeer because I don't think he has barbarian barrel or anything to like finish my musketeer off. So even with that fireball value, it's gonna get so much value. Like, even with that fireball, like you'll still get good value. So um, the important thing in this <laughs> so predictable, I knew he would try to do that with the mother witch. Um, yeah, the most important thing is you don't want to overcommit. Like, yes, you want to be like aggressive, but don't like over, 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 over commit. You know, because it will be pretty hard to defend like all the spam and all that stuff. Hey, this should be a nice fireball. I missed the golden knight, but eh, it's fine. Just cut everything and then low cannon, nice. Slug. So yeah, this is a pretty good matchup. This is not really barbarian, so this hog should be fine. And he gave me so much fable value that was actually really insane. I want to cycle back to my log. Yep, nice. Just lock that. Play does a mother witch. That mother witch. Then do it. Then do it. Then do it. Then do it. Kill the skeletons. Kill the skeletons. Oh, he got. I was going. Please. Nice. Okay. Nice. 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 So when you're up like this much damage, and you know, there's no point of being aggressive. Okay, he just gave up. Um, yeah, when you're up like a lot of damage against like Bridge Fam, there's no point. Don't don't be like aggressive. Like, just play passive and just defend and all that stuff. Cause the only way they can break through is if you like go aggressive and you know like you like you don't have a lot of Alexa and they would like over, like they'll overwhelm you and all that stuff. Okay, so I'll just do one more game. Okay, so we found a game. Against Kirim or Karim. So I have Hog first play. Okay. I don't know why he would go Musketeer in the back like that. Um, okay, Mini Pekka. Um, hopefully, they really both reach the. No, they won't. So I have to log the Pekka and then Ice Golem. Perfect. I was hope I wanted both of them to reach the bridge same time so I can do it for an Ice Golem, but. Um, the mini picker was coming like more further, so like faster. So I would have had to, I had to log it, so then I was able to kite musketeer and uh, like distract them both, while the my towers are both targeting them. So yeah, this is an easy matchup. Actually, he might have graveyard. If he has graveyard, then this is going to be like really hard. But if he doesn't have graveyard, then yeah, this is a really easy matchup. Giant Sparky is a good matchup for. 2.6, if he goes for Mini Pekka, no, he doesn't. I was going to say, if he went for like Mini Pekka or something for that, I would have went for Hog of Tulane, but he might go, okay, beautiful skeletons. Look at their skeletons. Beautiful skeletons. Beautiful. I knew he'll try to go for a Mini Pekka. That's why I went for skeletons like that. And yeah, I was able to get my Hog water, like, I think two or three more hits. Didn't really count, but he's up a lot of Alexa, like five Alexa. I'm not gonna fireball the Sparky. Just gonna save the fireball to um to kill his troops. I think that'll be better. Okay, log. Ice spirit. Ice spirit like that. So when the Sparky shoots it, it, will, it pushes it back, and then it will target the cannon. Nice, nice. So he just used his uh, Nine Witch, so I can just Ice Golem Cannon to kill the Nine Witch and Fireball the Minions. Mm, maybe I should have not Fireball the Minions. Because now I don't know Fireball for the Sparky, but okay, perfect. He went for. I don't know why he went for Musketeer like that. He should have just let the right lane go. Ice Golem. 
skeletons and no more days for my neighbors dogs man freaking hell he's not gonna shut up is he I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah. My neighbor's dog is so annoying right now. Yeah, this is an easy matchup. Uh, this is like really, really easy. Giant Sparky, is, it's really easy matchup. He, he doesn't even have a skeleton on me. I'm gonna Fireball Musketeer because you might have. Yeah, perfect. I knew, I had a feeling we'd go for minions to defend them at Musketeer, so that's what we went for protection. Fireball, and yeah, GG's. Pretty easy matchup, pretty good video. Five wins, zero losses. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, you can always like and subscribe. Let's see where we ended at. Top 2k, nice. And I'll see you guys in the next one.